What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And guys, man, how y'all been? I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. All right, I'm back. Had to do some traveling. Had to hit New York back up again. Got to see some family I haven't seen in years. In absolute years. Some of them I haven't seen in a decade. So that was lit. That's what's up. But it's time to get back to work. It's time to get back to business. And what I want to talk about today is this viral video of this man accusing his girl of sleeping with his dad behind his back. So I just want to do a reaction to this for a multitude of reasons. Um, there's a lot of things women can learn from this. There's a lot of things the men can learn from this. And I also kind of want to come to the conclusion on my own of rather or not I actually think his dad is messing around with his girl. Or if he's being insecure, is it a little bit of both? So there's a lot of good things that can be taken from this video. A lot of you guys, I know I did a whole live on it, but a lot of you guys still ask me questions about living with a woman and what's okay and what's not okay and how do you do it and how do you make it work. And for those of you who really want in-depth, check out that live. But a lot of what I say in this reaction is going to help you when it comes to living with a woman, understanding the do's and the don'ts and what should and shouldn't be allowed, all right? So with that being said, if you know me, you know I don't like to waste too much time, so let's get straight into the reaction and try and come to the conclusion of rather or not this man's pops was smashing his girl or if he's just being insecure. Let's go. I was work, pulled in my driveway with my daddy in my goddamn house. And I telling me he gonna be in my goddamn house. I just don't understand this shit, man. As a father, man, knowing I got a girlfriend in that house. How are you popping up in my house? Now, I'm going to say this. You shouldn't be popping up at anyone's house. I don't give a damn if you're their parent. I don't give a damn if you... The, if, the only time it's okay to pop up at someone's house is if you live there. So if you're a kid and you still live at home, then it's fine to pop up at the house and go in and out. Otherwise, you should be letting people know if you're coming to the house. Some parents do have a problem with overstepping their boundaries, okay? Some don't, but some do. This is a law if you've never lived on your own, okay? Rather it's with a woman or not, rather it's with a man or not, you're going to have to set with your parents. You're going to have to let them know, hey, listen, I don't live with you no more. This is not your roof. You don't pay this rent. You don't have the right to just come over here without telling me that you're coming. All right, so he's right about that. Now, when he says and he knows my girl's in the house, I don't really understand what that has to do with anything because, I mean, your girl lives with you, so if your dad comes over, she's going to always be in the house. And if you got the type of pops that you don't feel like you can leave alone with your woman, like unprovoked, you just don't feel like it's something you can do, you got a bigger problem with you and your pops. And if that's the case, then, yeah, your pop shouldn't be popping up at all. But if that's the case, then you got a bigger problem. All right, so I don't agree with he shouldn't be here if I'm not here because my girl here because that's stupid. That's your dad. You should trust your dad unless he's done something that led you to believe that you don't trust your dad, which if that's the case, you should have already instructed your girl not to let him in. Otherwise, that shouldn't be a problem. But the dad coming to the house without letting him know is a problem. And again, some of you have overbearing parents, so y'all are going to have to lay that, lay that law with them. But let's continue. <laughs> I just said this shit. Just like I thought. Just like I thought. Just like I thought. Just like I thought. What we got going on here, huh? What we got? What we got going on here, huh? What's what, what y'all? Hey, don't fuck it, Junior, me, man. Don't. All right, so right off the bat, I should have stopped this a little bit earlier. I'm going to let it play a little bit so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Hang on. And Junior me, man. It's your third time this week. There we go. We're going to stop here. I'm going to let you guys know something right now. If your girl is walking around the house and there's company over and she's in shorts so slim that you can see the bottom of her ass cheeks as we see on this girl right now, your girl is a hoe. Ain't no if, ends, buts about it. I know it's going to be some woman who's probably going to come in the comments saying, Alex, she in her house and she's comfortable, so what's the problem? I have shorts like that. Da, 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 da. Here's the problem. 
if you were in your house and you were comfortable and it was just you and your man, that's fine. But the reality of the situation is you're in the house and your man's dad is there. Why would you ever feel comfortable with your ass cheeks out and your man's dad is there? And don't tell me you don't know that, all right? Women spend too much damn time getting ready, too much damn time laying out an outfit, too much damn time in the mirror. You knew your ass was out. I know you feel that wind, especially when he opened the door. So this was intentional. Even if the dad just popped up and you didn't know he was coming, the right thing to do at that point is to let him in and then go change your clothes. Not only does she have booty shorts on, but she's also halter topped her shirt. She's pulled it up. Why are you doing all that? She got the feet out. <laughs> I know some of y'all like, Alex, what does her having the feet out mean? Listen, it mean a lot. It's a lot of foot fetish fellas out here, man. It's a lot of them. And women know that. That's why they get their toes done. All right? That's why they always have their feet out. But I'm just kind of joking with the feet part, but there is a lot of feet fetish people out here. But my point is, any woman who would dress like that around your family is a hoe. Point blank period. All right? Point blank period. And to be honest with you, even if y'all have kids, you still shouldn't be walking around the damn house or anything that has your whole ass cheeks out like this. Your son don't want to see your ass cheeks. Your daughter don't want to see your ass cheeks. And I know, again, because women are very predictable. They all think that they're different and they say all these different things, but a lot of y'all don't. Because I know someone's going to come in the comments and I know someone's going to say, probably without even watching this whole video, oh, but Alex, you know, kids shouldn't be looking at their mom in a sexual way. You shouldn't be sexualizing everything. Yeah, you see, it's all fine and dandy when the ladies want to come out in their booty shorts and their halter tops and their see-through shirts with their kids around and stuff. It's all fun and dandy because I'm your mother. You shouldn't be lurking at me that way. But let you as a man come around your daughter all right, and some boxer briefs and see what the hell happens. See what happens from your woman. See what happens from the internet. See what happens from your family. No one's going to be on your side. So this is a double standard that women are trying to normalize. But I'm going to let you know right now, guys, if you're talking to a woman and she's okay with her ass cheeks hanging out around her kids, she's a hoe too. All right, but let's move forward. Pop it up in my motherfucking house without letting me know you're going to pop up. Huh? You fucking eat chicken? And you got these little ass shorts on? What's wrong with y'all, man? What the hell y'all got going on? You got your legs wide open? Drinking this? You know, I ain't fucking All right, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. There's a lot of tripping going on so far. I think he was tripping about his dad being in the house with his girl when he's not there because, again, I think that's stupid unless your dad did something to make you feel like he can't be trusted. I think him even saying, you sitting there with your legs open, is crazy. What the hell does that matter? It's actually women who are supposed to keep their legs closed in decor because they wear dresses and things that are open. So if they don't keep their legs closed, you can see their panties. Or if they don't have any, you can see their vagina. I'll say vagina because YouTube like to strike you for stupid stuff. So I'm going to say vagina. So that's actually a rule for women, not men, really. But that's a stretch. The only legit thing he has right now is that his girl shouldn't be dressed like that when his dad is there. But to be honest with you, he should really be mad at his girl about that and not his dad. His dad don't even look. I'm looking at his dad right now. He don't look like he came over there to get no cheeks. He don't. <laughs> like, he looked like, you, you know, he's your average old dad who just happened to come through and hang out. Might have been in the neighborhood or something. It don't look like he came through to get no cheeks. Doesn't necessarily mean that he didn't, but I'm just saying he don't look guilty. So the problem is why you dress like that, that's something you take up with your woman, not your man. You know, like if you invite your boys over to watch the game and your girl decide to come down there in booty shorts or she decide to start twerking or whatever the hell it is that she decides to do, that's on her, not your boys. So he should really be talking to her, not his dad. But nothing about this is making me feel like she's sleeping with his dad. I think his girl is just a hoe. But let's go ahead and continue. You think I'm stupid or something? What the f*** y'all got going on? I don't give a damn what. Say, say, man. What, 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 so she what, told him you are stupid. Okay, all right. So this girl is definitely all right. One of two things here, guys. His girl's either a hoe or I'll meet her halfway and say maybe she's not a hoe, but she don't like him like that. She don't respect him. And she's just purposely aggravating him, hoping that he'll dump her so she can move on to the next dude. And she don't want to leave first because women do stuff like that. Right? It's one or the other. Either she's just ready for him to go or she's a hoe. Because this this I mean, she, for you to tell her, man, you are stupid, and this house is wild. Now, she's saying it's her house, which could be another problem. Because I already told y'all before, never live with women. So this is, if this is her house, then he's even stupider. But let's continue. He's She's right. He is stupid if this is her house. Let's continue. Uh, 
Hold on, huh? I'm trying to check out for my man. That's it. And why are you recording? Get the camera out. Well, your man just got here. And I come home. Think about this shit. I'm coming home to my motherfucking pops in the kitchen with my goddamn girl with these little ass shorts on eating. Eat shot. I, I say, Junior. Junior. All right, so let me say this. All right. She said, I'm cooking for my man. He said, your man just got here. Well, duh. A good woman is not going to cook two hours, an hour before you get there because the food's not going to be fresher. So if your girl knows you usually get home around 7 o'clock, she'll probably start cooking about 6.30 or maybe 6 o'clock, depending on what she's preparing and how long it takes. But the object is to either have the food done as soon as you get there or about to be done as soon as you get there. So for you to say, I just walked into the house, <laughs> so how you cooking for your man, I just walked in the house, is crazy. Right now, there's like four so there's like four points that makes him seem insecure, and only one point where he has a good point, and that's where his girl shouldn't have those shorts on when his dad is in the house. But that's a respect issue between you and your girl, and has nothing to do with your dad, which was further illustrated when she told you you are stupid. Because a woman who had respect for you and actually admired you would never tell you such a thing. But let's go ahead and keep continuing. Why, why, how I'm tripping? Tell me how I'm tripping. Tell me how I'm tripping. You got these shot at? Guys, look at this. Come on, you can see her old. I hate that the caption came right there, but you really can see her old ass cheeks. Like <laughs> you can't possibly think this is an appropriate outfit to wear around someone's father. Like, what's the problem? It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. Hell no. Did you did you tell me you was gonna be in my house? Did you okay again? It's not that serious that his dad is there. I agree 100%. Sure, 100%. Is it that serious that she's wearing those shorts? Yes, but your father shouldn't have nothing to do with the conversation. The problem here is he's more stuck on why is his dad there with his girl dressed like that rather than why is his girl dressed like that around his dad. He's worried about the wrong thing, he's worried about the wrong thing. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna use female lingo here. But it's given, this is the best girl you can get, and you know that. So you only want to come at her but so much. You want to blame your dad when deep down you kind of know your girl is a hub. Nothing about their interaction is just suggesting to me in any way, shape, or form that the dad is smashing her. I just, I don't know. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know if I'm missing something. But nothing about this so far makes me feel like they're sleeping together. Nothing. Nothing. His girl's just a hoe. It don't matter who is in the house. He should be lucky it was his dad because chances are if it had been me or somebody else, his girl would have already been getting smashed right now because she's clearly over him. He worried about the wrong thing. But let's go ahead and finish this up. Let me know you was going to be at my house? Huh? Huh? I come home. You you sitting in the motherfucking kitchen talking to my girlfriend with these little ass thoughts on. Trenisha. Okay, I didn't know you could talk to my Her name is Trenisha. She's a whore. <laughs> Yeah, we could really end the video right here. It's over. She's a whore. Her name is Trenisha. You, no wonder he wild up. You know you can't trust no girl named Trenisha. You listen, and she got any Ishan in her name? Trenisha, Anisha, Tanisha, Shanisha. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the hell it is. If there's an Ishan in of it. Aisha, whatever. Trenisha, she's a whore. All right, that's just like any girl who's named after. A diamond or a luxury car, right? If her name is Ruby, whore. Her name Diamond, thought. Right? Her name Porsche, thought. <laughs> right? Her name Mercedes, that's a thought. Right? If her name is Lexus, that's a bird. Right? Anything with an Isha or a Nisha, anything after a car or any type of jewelry is a bird. Now I know why he's so mad. He already know his girl's a hoe, man. He's just taking it out on his dad, which is what I suspected. Hey, man. This this shit, dog. Dog. No, I'm tripping. No, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah. You drinking? You full of f***ing liquor? Full of f***ing beer? Coronas? Liquor right here. Huh? Hey, I'm tripping. Say, say, man. Y'all f*** all that junior shit. F*** all that shit. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. You take the mother. See, see, read between the lines, guys. She don't respect him. She don't respect them. Now I know somebody's probably gonna come in the comments. It's a skit. This don't seem like a skit. It don't seem scripted. I'm just being honest with y'all. It really don't. It might be. Who knows? It's 2023. Who knows? 
But the problem here is she don't respect him. She's telling him to sit down. She done already told him that he is stupid. She's saying little things, passive-aggressive things, to let you know the problem is him. It's not his dad. His dad's just in there drinking, eating some chicken. <laughs> it's almost like you doing all this drinking. My man got one corona. What is the problem? He don't even seem drunk. Nothing about his dad seems drunk. Like, this is wild that he's blaming it. He's literally blaming his dad because his girl's a hoe. That's the conclusion I'm getting. All right, we only got like two minutes left. Let's see if it changes. What's up? Say, you, you come on. Like that, nah, I don't give a damn. You gotta, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. Get us my house. You gotta respect my house. You gotta go. You gotta go, man. Get the fuck out of my house. Ain't no motherfucking junior, man. Ain't no motherfucking junior. You give a damn that's my goddamn daddy. Ain't no mother. Man, get, get out of my house. My mama left you this house. Get me, get, get out of my house, man. Get out of my house. So technically it's not yours. You can't keep you out of the ass place. Uh, get out of my house, man. Get out of my house, man. <laughs> Pop said, you think somebody looking at the woman? I got a whole bunch of women her age. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm only seeing his girl from the back. She got a decent ass, but it's really not that great. I could also see two rolls in her side. I don't know what she pulled her shirt up to show that for. Maybe she was just hot. All I'm saying here is... This girl not bad enough to be beefing with your father over. I actually agree. Now, look, rather or not the dad has a bunch of girls her age, I don't know if he got money. He probably do. I don't know if his dad has money or not. All right? But what I'm saying is I agree with the dad in the sense that why would someone be looking at your girl? Like, if I came in this house, right, and I'm this man's cousin or something, even with her dress like that, the last thing I'm going to be thinking is, oh, I'm about to try to hit this. I'm going to just be looking at him like, because your girl's a hoe. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be thinking about trying to sleep with her. It's not a home trying to take. You can find that anywhere, especially in the DMV, especially in New York, especially if you in Atlanta, especially if you in Houston, especially you in L.A. There's nothing special about it. She's not that bad. But I told y'all before, the energy he's giving off, this is the best that he can do. That's why he's so pressed over it. And his dad must have did something to him in the past. Maybe his dad just came back in his life or something because he, he clearly just got beef with his dad because dad hasn't done anything. So I don't understand why he's so mad as that. Yeah, his dad could have told him that he was coming over, but to take him not telling you that he's coming over as he's doing something with your girl is kind of wild. And the dude did say at the beginning of the video in his defense that this ain't the first time that it's happened. But I st just you need more evidence than I come home and you're in the house with my dad for them to be cheating or something. She don't even look like she just got smashed. <laughs> you know, you got to have more evidence than that. I don't make no sense. Bro know his girl is a hoe. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. His dad probably a pe his dad probably a Rolling Stone. He, maybe he's not lying about having a bunch of girls that age. And his girl is a hoe. Get out my house, man. Nah, we don't do that. Not, 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 not tonight. Get out my house, man. Not tonight, dude. Get out my house, man. I don't know what happened. The video seems to be behind what's happening. Um, but apparently they didn't got into it because he didn't told her to take her shorts off. Maybe he tried to get, get her to take her shorts off, which would be crazy because the, if you take her shorts off now and she don't got nothing else to put on, you're just going to make it worse. I don't know. For some reason, the video just started lagging. I don't know what's going on. Your son. I ain't no motherfucking junior. I ain't no motherfucking junior. You can, you can kick that junior shit. You ain't not pops no more. You ain't not pops no more. You dare it to me, nigga. You dare it to me. Bag your motherfucking ass up. Put holes in my motherfucking wall and shit. Put up my house and shit. Okay. Okay. You ain't my motherfucking Okay, no, it's gonna do this now. Now it's doing this. Damn. 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 Damn.
We couldn't really see what happened anyway, but I guess he proceeded to try to throw his pops out. Now, I'm going to let y'all know straight up. We about to cut this off because I don't know what happened at the video towards the end. It got crazy. But um, just looking by his shirt, I don't think he won this fight. Now, look, I could be wrong. I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> but my man's shirt is ripped, and he's still arguing with his dad. So it doesn't seem like he was successful in throwing his dad out of the house. This is probably... A punk ass dude, honestly, man. We never really get to see his frame or his face or anything, but just the energy he's giving off, man. He's he's it's he's probably a punk ass dude. So I wouldn't be surprised if his dad manhandled him. Listen, y'all be sleep on y'all fathers, man. Y'all grandfathers, they got that old men strength, right? They not cut up no more because they don't be in the gym. But don't sleep on them, right? A lot of them worked in factories and shit for years and steel mills and all types of stuff. They will whoop your ass. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> so if you going to come at them, come at them right. But at the end of the day, in summary, to get to the point of throwing your dad out and getting into a physical altercation with your dad because your girl is a hoe is crazy as hell. And that's essentially what I got out of this video. Okay, again, should she be wearing those shorts? No, she should not be wearing those shorts. Should your dad be coming over your house without telling you? No, he shouldn't. But to think your dad's sleeping with her because she's moving like a thought is nuts. Because, I mean, that don't make any sense. Your girl's going to let your dad in it's your dad. Unless you specifically tell her not to let him in, which he did not. He just complained about no one telling him, but he didn't say don't let him in. Then, of course, she's going to let him in. That's, that's your dad. I mean, what the hell? Why would she not put your dad in? That's what she's supposed to do. Now, like I said, I believe that she's disrespecting the man because at this point, I think she's done with him. <laughs> he just got his ass whooped by his dad in front of her. So that makes it even worse. Homie might as well just go and get a new girl. She said, this is my house. She called him stupid. Again, you got to read between the lines. She said, this is my house. She called the man stupid. <laughs> All right? She told him he's overreacting. She told him he need to sit down. She told him he need to chill. She's just tired of him. She's just tired of him. Maybe the only reason she keep letting the dad in is because she's trying to figure out through the dad what the hell is wrong with the son. They might both be trying to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. But I have a hard time believing that his dad was smashing this girl. And honestly, guys, I'm going to wrap it up with this. The best gems come for those who stay to the end. I repeat, the best gems come for those who stay to the end. Even if the dad was smashing the girl. Let's just say the dad was smashing the girl. You really going to turn on your dad over a hoe? If your dad was smashing your girl, I mean, look, look, look listen. Yeah, you box him out for a, a little bit. You probably stop messing with your dad. You don't trust your dad anymore. But at the end of the day, it's still your dad. This is a hoe. So if you had such bad judgment that you started to build something with a woman who would sleep with your father, consider your father doing you a favor, all right? Keep him out of distance and cut the girl off. But there ain't no point in fighting your father over a hoe. Like, that, that's nuts. I'm not fighting over no... Listen, the only way I'm fighting over a woman is if it's my girl, my wife, and if she didn't do anything and someone's violating her. But if she's, if I think she's sleeping with someone, I seriously believe that's what she's doing. I'm not fighting over that. You can have her. Girls, I like buses. Miss one, next 15, one coming. Or in the words of my boy J. Cole, it's too many chicks. It's too many chicks to be pressed about a bitch. It ain't that deep. All right? So personally, I think the dude is just insecure, man. I think the girl is the best that he can do. I think she has figured that out. I think she's tired of him. I don't think he's taking care of business like he should be. Otherwise, she would have a certain level of respect for him. That's not there. That's what I got out of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all got out of the video in the comments. And we back. We about to be uploading again on the regular. But for now, I am Alex and I am out, y'all. Peace.